All right, greetings. Uh, good morning. And we are doing our second run of Archmage Rises. Uh, I played the last one uh, last night. Uh, just going to try it again, see if we get, you know, any different outcome. And, you know, sort of at the end of this, I think, or maybe another video uh, where I can put my face on. Um, <laughs> see what my thoughts, um, what, what are my final thoughts on this demo here? Uh, but I did have fun last time, so we're going to do it again. And let's see where it goes. So, new game. I'm going to delete the world that I had. I, I actually think it makes mostly the same stuff for the demo. Just offhand, this seeds change, but I don't see a ton uh, different. I mean, it's going to generate, you know, random... Uh, it's going to generate a random map. And we see all the things happening. I do like that screen. That's a that's a cool uh, screen there to show all the things it's doing, as opposed to a giant list, which since I'm not going to read a list, <laughs> I'm not going to read any of these either. But yeah, but so it generates. It looks to be about the same thing. I'm not, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's generating the same thing for the demo and the demo is just mostly uh, flat or if, if, can I get 10 unique artifacts or if those numbers are always the same. All right. So we have Valador. We're going to start the game. So we're not going to go through any of the plot points. Uh, it's pretty much the conclave of, of mages versus the renegades. And we're looking for effectively centaur magic uh which might include mind control and that's going to be the main conflict point so we're going to make a boy philip uh so each of these backgrounds uh is going to give us sort of some skills right survival and athletics that is a useful one uh simply because you know you don't get astronomy and politics sort of don't care but survival and athletics is useful. Athletics is useful in a lot of cases for dodging traps, I have found. Uh, bard stealth, again, super useful for avoiding combats out in the open world. Um, you know, scholarship and persuasion, I have not seen. I know scholarship is for studying the books that you're going to find in the game. But I've not seen super good uses for persuasion yet. And then, frankly, I don't know enough about the crafting system to know it, although perception's good for, for finding traps. And then the random one, sort of interesting. Three random skills plus three and four random interests. The only problem, I, I think you get, I think you ought to actually get even more if you think about it, right? Because I get, I get a, essentially plus 10 to skills here, plus 10 to skills here, plus 10 to skills here, plus nine, and it's random. So I almost think you should get four skills at plus three. Uh, to sort of make up for the fact that you have no control over what the hell's going on. Uh, having said that, I'm going to take the ranger. We're going to go with the ranger. So we're going to choose Larnahan for the survival and athletics. Um, and then, so of the three, tutors, Castanea, dispel magic and plus two power to arcane spells. Brannon, you get light freeze and invisibility, plus two to fire and ice spells. And then begin combat with magic missiles and plus two to storm spells. So here's the thing. Of the three so far, I've played all of them at least once. I would argue that Castanea for the beginning game is way better than the other two. The plus two power to arcane spells is just huge. And you might say, well, but Brandon gives you plus two to fire and ice spells. Right. You don't get any attack spells in fire and ice to start with. Light and freeze. Freeze is not a, a an attack spell. It is a it is a hold. And if there's one thing that's super useful in most games, it's doing damage. And I think in this game, especially the way the initiative goes, uh, alpha striking your your targets is best. We're gonna go with Castanea. I, I could I think I don't know that these could use a tweak, but I think these might use a tweak here as, as we go. I'm out. Not that, you know, I'm playing armchair game designer, so I apologize to the developers of this. <laughs> because I don't know Jack. Um, but Castanet is where I'm going. Uh, so we're expelled from Mage's College. We steal just enough on the way out. 
and we start at the edge of a town with a letter telling us to meet a representative of this mage's conclave in town. So let's see what we start with. We start with a bow. Uh, I mean, okay. And a letter from Christiana, and there's the, there, there's, that's telling us to meet the, uh, the mage. So what we're going to do is we're going to enter town. Uh, not, not a cool, it's a sort of crappy town, actually. So we can go to the, let's go to the merchant real quick just to see. I'm looking for Christina Malbray. She's, I think, in the conclave, actually. So we can see what they buy and sell here. And because there's no weapons, so the market is sort of a, an a, a, aggregate of the stuff that is sold in town with the cooler items going to the individual shops. But since there isn't a weaponsmith or an armorsmith in town, uh, we don't get anything like that in town. So that sucks. I was actually gonna sell my bow because with this plus two arcane, uh, magic missile is, is gonna be all I need for, for the first part of the game. Um, so let me just, let's go in, well, let's go in and see, so let's get some quests here. So trouble with skeletons, would you like to kill 10 skeletons? Eh, we're going to try. Um, and we're going to do, we're going to buy, since we know we're going to need it, we're going to buy one, two, three torches. And let's say two camps, just in case. So that's going to take us down to 200 and some odd gold. I don't think we need anything else yet. There's a lot of cool items in the game, and I don't know if... I don't know. I want to buy a towel so bad, but I'm not going to. Um, so we're going to leave here. So we have three torches. Here's our inventory. So we have three torches, two camps. We still have our bow, which we can't sell, and some food. You, you eat the food automatically when you need it, so there's no need really to worry about, about that. I'm gonna go to the graveyard. No, we're just gonna, I'm just trying to see if there's any more quests. Docks? No. What services do you offer at the docks? No, that's too bad. I was like, ooh, docks. Uh, the inn. Nope, okay, so no one else has any quests for us. Let's go to the conclave. Here's Christina. And what she is going to tell me is about uh, the Onyx Order, which is who we're going to go to next. So we need to go um, find another mage. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. So now what is the quest here? It is find Isabel Mins at the Inn in Vilzar. So we need to go find this shadowy mage in Vilzar. She's going to tell us about the horse people, the long gone horse people who made this book, which potentially has mind control spells in it. So that's pretty much it. And we have kill 10 skeletons. So I'm gonna focus on kill 10 skeletons here if I can. So we're gonna leave town. Now I do like, so one of my favorite games is um, Darklands by Microprose way, way back in the day. And that also had sort of this, you know, town as a menu vibe now the one thing i liked about darklands was you could adventure in town like you could go and wander around and get jumped by bandits and stuff in town um that would be a fun addition if you could get accosted on the way to a thing or talk to somebody or whatever but anyway town as a menu i sort of like um i like the fact that the towns are different so we're going to look for skeletons. So we're going to travel along the road here. You'll see it takes, you know, an hour to go on the road. Uh, it's 6 p.m. right now, so it's going to get dark here soon. And you'll see it's 1.30 in the morning. Now, we're not going to rest. We don't seem to need to. Uh, we're going to, let's look at these tracks, though. So you spot tracks. We can go into any hacks, which I think is a fascinating mechanic here and then look and, and do these things. So I'm gonna identify these tracks. So I rolled a 13. Um, the difficulty was five. Wolf tracks to the Northwest. So I do like that. So that's a very um, mountain blade vibe where you're, you have to like find the tracks to find 
the encounters. So there's something. There it looks like skeletons to me. So we're going to go drag them in. Insight discovered. You see several skeletons along the path. I'm going to stealth them. We rolled a 10. That difficulty is so low to stealth. I do wonder about that. I don't know if that's um, just a thing for the demo or whatever, or if the skeletons are that dumb, but, but they do have a very low stealth difficulty. So I do stealth them, and that's going to allow me to ambush them if I want to. But what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to follow them to their lair. I like, so so this little pop-up here, I do love this. So it tells me what I need. tells me what happens on a success, which is cool. tells me what happens on a failure, also cool. I think that's a very good, um, even for GMs running live table games, I do think there's something to that. If you're going to require a skill check, the player ought to know the stakes. I'm going to follow them to their lair. It's going to require another skill roll, which I'm going to barely succeed. <laughs> <laughs> but we did. We did succeed it, and we followed them to their lair. So that takes me, if you'll notice, um, down here. So I'm way farther south than I was. And here is the Forsaken Den. So, all right, we're going into the dungeon. So the dungeon is a simple grid. Um, there's a little mini-map action. Hold on. Let me, let's hold, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So... So here we go. So you can move on this mini map. Um, you can also look around each room, right? So um, we will need torches. Let me pop one just now. There we go. So now we have 12 hours of torch. I don't know what exactly that means. So what we're looking for is we're looking for clickies and clickies are yellow. The doors are obviously clickies. Uh, I've never seen one of these suits of armors be a clicky. Um, and you'll see the little mini map, which is almost too small up top. I don't know if we can move that now or do anything with it, but we, it seems we can. Interactable objects highlight. So there we go. It could be trapped. I'm going to cast Arcane Insight. It's going to last for five hours and give us. Oh, we found beer. And a bandage. Well, a bandage isn't isn't the worst. And an ale. Um, I used to be excited about that because I thought we could sell it, but I haven't found a place I can sell the ale yet. So that's sort of a bummer. So we go into the next room. A torch. Torch is useful. I like that. Ooh, a chest. Holy crap. Okay, that's cool. And another torch. Who the hell puts their torch in a chest? <laughs> it's like... Hey, Bob, I need this masterwork chest that we just got commissioned. We got nothing to put in it, man. Oh, here, take my stick with some resin on it. Um, so we're going to go here. And largely the dungeon exploration is, I mean, it's sort of neat, but it is fairly simple, right? You, you wander around, you look for uh, uh, widgets uh, to, to find... That's pretty much it. You know, they seem highly randomized, which which is fine. That's cool. Another box. I don't have insight anymore. I'm wondering if I should cast it. Let's cast it again. Another torch. So I am I am loaded for bear on light sources here. So that's cool. Uh, we have the temple room. I've seen a couple of these. Man, I wish something was interactable here because it looks so cool. Like, this should have a chance to be interactable every time, in my opinion. At least a chance. Because it just looks too cool to not, uh, to not be interactable. So we're going to get to a place that is... So you notice we just ran all the way back from up here down to here. You can move on this mini-map too, which I find pretty cool. Uh, and useful if you're just trying to run through. Uh, so let's go south. And there we go. We're ambushed by skeletons. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for some skellies to kill because we got to kill 10 of them. Uh, so these skeletons are actually really uh, tough. Now, here's the thing. Um, they're really tough. But we're going to get two casts because this only costs 3 AP. And we have six. We're going to get two casts 
And with the plus two power, we are going to just kill this thing pretty outright without it getting an attack. Largely what you're managing is that stamina bar. That yellow at the bottom left, you can see it. I have 80 left. We get 25 arcane XP, 26 bucks. And we're ready to move on here. So we need as many skeletons as possible because we have, that's one of 10 that we need to kill. Oh, we startled the skellies in this case. Ooh, there's three of them. Now, this is the case where the other tutor would have been useful. That magic missile tutor, we could have scattered, hit all three of these at once and killed them. Having said that, what we're going to do is, what this gives us the option to do is we can drop this to two stamina. We can still kill two of them, probably. Oh my god, we did not kill him. That stinks. We're going to try the other one. Oh, we didn't kill either of them. This is going to suck. So we miscalculated. Uh, obviously, they have enough armor. Okay, so we took two hits. Okay. So we're going to low cast and kill him. We're going to upcast one twice here. We're going to make sure we kill this guy. And he is dead. And we're going to let him hit us again twice. So we're, we've taken a lot of damage. And then we're going to low, low, uh, low ball this cast and kill him. So that was a failure on our part. We screwed that up. We got 100 XP. We got 39 bucks. Uh, let's take a quick gander around this place. Let me cast Awareness again. And we're looking for uh, bookshelves primarily because every time I've been in one of these libraries, there have been at least a couple clickable bookshelves. Oh, and this time I think we uh, we get nothing. Now I could definitely see. Now I don't necessarily mind this, but I could definitely see some people go uh, uh, begging off because it's like you, you do spend a lot of your time in dungeons, you know, pixel hunting effectively for the the interactables, right? Um, but I don't find it that onerous I'm a little bummed that there is nothing in here uh, so that that sort of sucks unless I missed something but I don't think I did I think I actually right you just uh, nope nothing okay well we'll go south nothing here either go here okay kitchen's gonna have something right a little larder here Now there's a little thumping in the background, a little heartbeat. I assume that tells me monsters close by. I don't know for sure. Could be my fear, my own heart beating. I don't know. Um, yeah, wow. I'm I'm uh, striking out a little bit here. I assume there's going to be a creature down. Nope, nothing. Oh, another uh, library. So that's good. We got one more shot at this library. Let's uh, cast insight on ourselves with that. Basically, it was an increased perception. So in case something is trapped, we will get either an extra shot to do. There we go. Books can be studied. So we found essentials of understanding. That's good. They're also saleable. We can sell them. So that's that's good stuff. Another one. Answers to understanding. Search of Understanding 2nd Edition. I heard that the 1st Edition was best. Um, another one. Excellent. Expanding your understanding. So that's cool. Uh, we did get... That is probably a good 20 or 30 bucks each on those books. So that is exciting. In addition, we're going to be able to study them if we want to. And that's going to give us skill points. Ooh, chest. Dungeon map. So what that's going to do is unlock the entire map. Um, so now we can see where the where the, the the way down is. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to go down. I am going to get to it. So let's go there. Uh, no, nothing. 
Oh, there's a box. Found a torch, another torch. And then finally, we'll go into the room. And we got ambushed by skeletons. Okay, these three guys again. So what we are going to do is we are going to... So we're going to upcast this. Three stamina. We're going to ensure a kill. I think they have five armor, I think is what, what I'm reading from these numbers. So we did 21. It took five armor. Um, so then we're going to let this guy... Oh, we get another action. Okay, done. We are going to... So now we don't need to kill this guy right off the bat. So we can do this... Uh, seven and seven. Let's just make sure. We're going to make sure we kill this guy. There we go. So there's the steps down. Uh, I'm not going to go take the steps down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shift to the mini-map, and I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to get out of Dodge um, to rest up. And that is a little bit of a, of a thing there. And then we're out. Now, how many skeletons did we ultimately kill? Seven. We did not quite get all the skeletons we need. Now, I could rest here. I could leave, and I could walk back to Aramor. That's probably going to take one... I'm going to say it's going to take two or three days to get back. But I still have ample time to do it. So I'm going to walk back. Oh! Several skeletons climbing the hills. Let's stealth them. We crit failed. <laughs> I think we still failed. Yeah. Oh, three of them. And they're going to get the first shot. This is going to hurt big time. Yep, that's one hit for three points. Two hits. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. All right, we, we have to kill. So we are going to kill that guy. And for three more stamina, we're going to kill that guy. And we're going to take the, the hit here. We're down to five hit points. Oh, okay, he missed the second time. We are... That's good. We're going to low cast this because we get two shots. And actually, I think we get four shots. All right. All right. Um, whew. How far are we from town? We are a little ways away from town, but we are going to book it back to town. All right, I think we made it in. We're gonna enter town. Huh. All right, good deal. That was that was uh, that was actually good. Kill skeletons. Let's hear it. Yeah, let's let's. I'm absolutely gonna do five more skeletons. Let's go to the inn. Uh, go to services. Every night I rest, I get three hit points. Um, since I'm gonna have to do that anyway to get my hit points back and stamina. One, two, three. Four. So there you go. So we have killed a lot of time for sure. Um, and we're not going to read any books yet because we are still on the clock for... We only have two weeks to kill a bunch of skeletons. But we are done with this one. And I suppose we'll turn it in. Um, I wish we knew who that was. Let's wait an hour, two hours. Let's get everything open. Uh, it's not her. In, it's not her. Outfitter, it's the outfitter. I took care of those skeletons for you. We get 300 bucks. That is an awesome pay for sure. So, and can we sell anything? No, we cannot sell anything to her. Anything we got, can't sell torches. She's not gonna buy torches. I'm actually looking for anyone else that wants skeletons. Can we sell anything here? We can sell the hunting bow here. We're going to sell it. Uh, I'm not even going to barter. Uh, am I going to barter? Sure. We'll soft barter. Wow, we rolled a two. We totally failed it. 
Uh, good enough. We'll, we'll, you, you, you got us. <laughs> we are, we're good. Um, all right. So we have 724 gold. So that is good. Um, we are going to leave. And we're going to head back because we still got to kill five more of these guys. Oh, there's some skeleton. No, that's a that's a dude. Okay, well we're we're not gonna chase him down. That's a little creepy. Um, into the den. Uh, let's get back to the mini map here and let's get I suppose down. Oh, skeletons leap to the attack. So we had some more skellies in here. Uh. Pfft. I'm going to sit on this and see if he comes at me. Can he attack me from there? He cannot attack me from there. I'm going to wait again. I'm just I'm curious to see where where he can attack. Ooh, he can can he diagonal move? No, he just made two moves. Okay. So now that he's moved up, now we're going to gun him down. So I'm going to cast 30 to 42. That was not quite as impressive. Oh my god, we left him with 10 darn hit points. Wow, that was bad on my part. Now, mind you, I've saved up so much magical... Uh, uh, I've saved up so much time here that I get effectively another set. But that took way more than I think it should have. So we do kill the guy. And we can continue on. Uh, looks like another... Uh, oh no, this is the old other the library I was already in. Got it. Okay. Right, right. Uh, so we're just going to get out of here and hit the door down, or at least steps down. So we're loading. We need a light. Let's pop a torch. All right. So because we have a dungeon map, we can we can see this guy. Um, it doesn't look like too too much. There's a there's a a, a drinking hall and a kitchen. I'm going to cast Insight. Another torch. Man, these guys love their torches in boxes. That is very, very... It's a common theme in this dungeon. We got ambushed. We got an archer and this guy. So this guy's going to have to walk up to us, I feel. So we're going to try to kill this guy first. So I want to make sure that I'm going to do the damage. We're going to upcast that to five stamina. And we hit him pretty darn hard. So we're going to downcast this one too to kill him and he walks up still can't hit us and we still get two shots on this guy um so we'll cast up to 36 and we one shot him that time we actually got a big big hit so we get some cash we're killing some skeletons and we have two ways to go we're gonna go into the kitchen first or the, the drinking room first. The wine cellar, maybe. I do not see anything. See, so now that I have... Um, see, that is trapped. Um... I'm going to cast Insight again because I'm a little concerned. I found a crowbar. Okay. Uh, oof. Uh, do I need to deal? Do, uh, am I to the point where I'm like, yes, deal with that trap? No, I don't think I'm at that point. And I'm not really here looking for anything in particular. I'm just looking to kill two more skeletons. So... I don't actually feel the need to engage with traps. I am not. Oh, we found an ale. Now, obviously, you know, this is a demo, right? And I, my guess is, total speculation, that they just jammed, right? They rushed this demo to get this for next fest. Um... I would love to see a cooked grains. 
food, 55 rotten, Ugh. okay. I would love to see more variety and a little bit more, right? Maybe some more interactables, maybe some interactables that don't do anything just to give me, you know, a little bit of feeling that something's happening in each room, or maybe that's not necessary. Maybe you just need to, you know, maybe the, the, the point of the dungeon is, um, you know, just, just you you blow through them kind of right they're they're mostly non oh, we ambushed the skeletons we got two ambushed skeletons so what i'm gonna do now the problem is i'm gonna have to blow through this darn witch mccall here so how much can i do so i can do 60 to 84 in a shot let me try that and see if i can't luck uh, well that was sort of a waste of power there so we do nuke him but he's gonna shoot us with the bow because i think he can shoot over this darn oh okay so i get i get the next shot so let's nuke so i can't shoot over barrels so that barrel is gonna take that shot and then i'm gonna do let's just try to do about half his damage and we lucked out and we killed him perfect I will say that I like the fights sort of in the sense that they're quick, right? You got a lot of uh, those RPG fights, so they're fast. They have that sort of persona fight vibe where it's like you get a lot of them, but they're like super quick. I'm snapping into the mic now, very clever. Um, right, um, I like that. It's always uh, a difficult, the sort of mini grid is cool. The fact that there's terrain, uh, I, I you know, so I, I I don't mind those those combats. I do find the initiative order a little confusing since sometimes it's like, hey, you get two actions in a row. I do, okay. Uh, you know, sometimes the enemy doesn't act. Sometimes, yeah. So, uh, so I suppose the question is. So I am done with my quest. I think, now do I run out of here? I only have 35 stamina left. I could pop a camp and see if I can get my stamina back. I don't know if resting in the dungeon is the best idea or not. Um, what else do I have? I also have, I generally think the, a, the UI is, not super sexy, but I think it works actually pretty well. And we can research. So if you see here, these are all the different types of spells. And I can actually go in and spend my 443 experience to do things. So greater silence, greater teleport, polymorph, turns a creature into a harmless one. Sort of cool. Elemental armor. Daggerfall is the attack that hits three characters and then darkness and blinds opponents. Charms a foe to fight on your side until damaged. That looks really cool. And I'll be totally honest, I think these set of spells were different than the last time I looked at this sheet, which I'm not certain if that's the case, but I actually think that's awesome. Now, the weird thing is, I actually have, I have Magic Missile already. Um, so I can, it seems I can take these tier five spells even though I have not arcaned all the way up to that tier. So I don't quite understand, like, you know, in, in like a game like um, Titan's Quest or, right, you have to, you have to go up the tree enough to get these spells and up the tree more and so on. So I don't know what that means, but uh, I'm gonna take Lesser Charm because multiple enemies is really the, the danger, typically, in most of these. And then I wonder, yeah, let's increase our arcane stat one to and let's just do it let's increase our arcane so now our arcane is 15 done let's just see how that 
goes. Uh, I don't know that that necessarily did anything. But that still does still beg the question of do we try to rest here and go down? Or do we get out of dodge, get our cash, and move on? I say we... Let's try to rest here. Let's, let's go for it. So we're going to pop a camp. Uh, we can regain stamina, and we have a chance of being ambushed. We're going to sleep. We are well rested, so we did get some. We're going to sleep again. But then we got jumped, and he gets the first shot. Oh, he misses. Thank flipping goodness. New round. We get the first shot. He's 60 points, and we're in the desert. Somehow we slept and ended up in a desert. This is, this is, we're dreaming. Um, let's cast here. We got less than half. I think that's good. Can we do, yeah, 30 points. Let's, let's downcast a little bit. And we did nuke him. 25 more XP. Uh, but we're going to sleep one last time. There we go. In hopes of, so let's break camp. And where do we end up? So we're right where we were, ready to head down. I think we're doing it. So now we're on the third level. No light. We're gonna pop a light, of course, since since this is the this is the crypt of torches. We have a dungeon map, so we can see the extent of the dungeon, and let's let's get to it. Skeletons are startled by our entrance, so you will see it is a little it looks a little more dangerous here. So let's cast here and hope for a roll. So we did. And then... So we had to do two big casts. But we are going to take a shot. We did not take a shot. So that's that. That's where I'm sort of wondering what the hell, right? Because I think that guy was going to shoot me. And we one-shot him with a down cast. So that's cool. We got 45 XP, 41 bucks. Um, let's cast Insight. Oof, trapped bookshelf. We found a bandage. I still don't want to deal with the traps. There's got to be some incentive to go into those, to, to do those traps. Like more, you know, some cool stuff in there, right? My guess is it would be trapped and there would be nothing in it. And I'd be like, uh, that was pointless. So we are searching through the bedrooms here. Found another bandage. Uh, this place's treasure has sucked, by the way. <laughs> um, skeletons are startled by our entrance. All right, so now these guys are second row attackers. So they're all going to get to move up and hit me. But they only take 16 points to kill. So I think we're going to go down to two stamina. We're going to kill two of them. Oh my god, the chest blocked it. Really? Ah, oh, darn it. So I'm going to take two shots here. He moves and he hits. That sucks a little bit. Uh, we're going to kill this guy for sure. And then that damn chest with 10 hit points is going to block me. So I'm going to hit the chest. And then I... Oh, oh, and he got me. He hit me and hit me again. So he got two shots in. Uh, that stinks a little bit. We're going to downcast and hit him twice. Because we get a couple... We get a couple hits before... Done. So 135 XP. 27 bucks. We took 10 hit points... So this is the escape the dungeon. So I like that. At the end of the dungeon, you're going to get a way out, um, which is nice. You don't have to walk all the way through the darn thing again. Uh, so we got a couple. So we're going to cast Insight, get our perception up. And we have a pickaxe, a girl. Oh, I like a piece of armor, climbing kit, a leather girdle of grinding. I, I don't know what the, that, that sounds a little dirty. Um... What's that on the floor? A crowbar and this trapped thing. Um, so let's look at what we have here. So we have plus 33 grinding. I actually don't know what grinding is, 
but we are. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I sort of know, <laughs> but I I don't know what you're talking about, game. We're gonna drag this up, and now we have plus thirty three grinding. Hopefully, I can sell the other one. And we are full of crap. Like literally, we have, we are full of equipment. So I think, I think we're getting out of dodge. Uh, so that is a stairway up. And that is the way out. So we leave the dungeon and we are out. So we're gonna head back to the town mostly try to avoid contact there we go and let's enter town uh, let's go to the outfitter first can we sell anything nope just trail rations can we go to the market and can we sell anything we can sell the oh my gosh <laughs> okay do you see the girdle of grinding there 18,000 bucks. Well, I am selling the hell out of that. I'm going to barter for giggles. Insight discover. So persuasion skill plus one. She's going to give us 20,000 bucks. And I'm I, I done. Sold. I can sell the other one. The funny part is... The funny part is, I'll bet you that 18,000 gold or another 20,000 gold is way more useful than, than, than plus 33 grinding. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. Grinding stuff? Probably some kind of jemmy thing or crafting thing. Um, I mean, it doesn't improve, as far as I can tell, it doesn't improve my armor or anything else. It improves my grinding, which I don't have that stat or skill anyway. Um, I don't know how to get it. So, uh, you, yeah, yes, we're gonna sell it. We're gonna barter again. We can't barter. She's like, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't have that kind of cash right now. We'll sell it. Done. You will put me out of business. I'll take your offer. Well, thank you, madam. I am happy as as uh, all get out. Let me try to find uh, the outfitter. Nope. Where is the inn? Right? Who the hell? The skeletons are dead again. Give me 130 bucks. You know what? You can keep your 130 bucks. <laughs> I retire. I'm done. I'm out. I don't care about anything else. I'm good. 40,000 bucks. Um, I, I love that sort of randomness, obviously. Uh, very cool. So what services do you offer? Well, first thing I need to, I need to snooze. Um, and I need some hit points. So I'm going to go to, and, and I'm going to rest two more days. Um, do I have food? So, yeah, okay. Uh, climbing kit. So I have all these books. So I'm going to go to the Conclave. And I'm going to study some books. So one of the things we can do is we can study. So let me study and I can look at all these books and you see what they do. So, for instance, I get plus five damage to bandits. Um, I don't know what a rare biography does. That's taking a lot of time to read. Let's read Let's read the biography for giggles. Uh, yeah, we're going to study the whole thing and just let it go. The screen slowly fades to black as I study. I gained scholarship. Time passed. I actually don't know what the heck... I assume it, it just gives me scholarship. So so if I look at my character, uh, I get knowledge, knowledge, knowledge. Like a lot of defeated skeletons knowledge. I don't get any research notes. All this like wealth and 
management and so on. This this bodes very well. If this game has all this implemented stuff, uh, this looks like a very, very broad, cool sort of uh, uh, experience, right? I like that you can see all your dudes here. I even love this, this interest. Nature, I enjoy it riding. I enjoy talking about it. I assume... I assume that's a way to, you know, right, gain relationships as you can, if you enjoy something they enjoy. No more quests. Um, that's about where I'm at. What is my scholarship one? Okay. So I think what I'm going to do is, I don't have any more. I do, I, I've cooked grains, rotten. Can I discard these? How do I discard something? How do I drop a thing? So let's get out of here. Can I just go and drag and drop it? Oh my God, I just dropped it in here. Wow, so the places have inventory. That is strangely cool. I do, I do appreciate that. That is a neat, I mean, it's not like, other games you can't drop a thing and pick it up. I just didn't expect that with this sort of uh, interaction. Now, how do I see this inventory again? Like if I close it, then is it gone for good? Uh, I'm hungry. I'm deaf in one ear. Wow, okay, I didn't notice that either. Um, I sort of wish that would appear somewhere. Otherwise, other than where it did. But okay, now that I've noticed it, sort of cool. Uh, that sucks a bit. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. You got me. You got me. Let me leave. Let me go to the inn. Um, I'm going to eat to get rid of my hunger. I'm still deaf, unfortunately. Let me wait. Let me go to the outfitter. Let me buy... One, two, three, four, five foods. Uh, let me get out of here. Go back to the conclave. And we are going to study again. Yeah, these are all just biographies. Now, this is going to give me some lore. I'm going to actually read the lore book to get a bandit damage. I mean, that's sort of cool, right? And maybe scholarship. So I did gain scholarship. Scholarship up to three, that's good. Each point of scholarship, I think, makes this faster a little bit. Uh, yep, gonna just keep reading. I spend days in here. I'm just eating, you know, trail rations and studying. I got nothing out of that one, which sort of sucks. Sure, we'll keep reading. I'm going to read it until these books are gone. I need I need inventory space anyway. Um, filled up with torches at the moment. Gain another point of scholarship, which is sort of cool. Do I have food left? Mm, it looks like I am hungry. I wonder how I heal my... I just drank. I am starving and hungry. I can literally kill myself with by studying <laughs> okay study to death um
but I'm gonna get rid of my other books. So we're gonna darn, we're gonna eat this damn thing. So we're gonna buy one, two, three, four, five more of these, and we're gonna get back to the conclave, and we are going to study one more book as long as it takes. I did get plus five damage to bandits. Uh, I got several scholarship points. I don't necessarily see too much point to reading those rest of those books. Aside from, you know, it increases your ability to read more books, I suppose. And we got a lot of torches. We still have books. Oh, do I still have the books afterward? Let's, we're gonna sell. No. I do still have the books. But I can't sell them. Um, I can't sell them. Maybe they're used in a weird way, right? Maybe he just doesn't want me. I'm not allowed to. Let, let's go see. Can he just not buy and sell? So if I go to the Conclave chapter, services, sell, I cannot sell him any of my books. Can I study them again? I don't think I can study them. So cancel. So it's red. It's not sellable. So I'm going to drop them, frankly. I'm just going to drop them here. Screw it. I don't need them. I don't want them. I have a lot of booze and a lot of pickaxes. I only have 11 more uh, inventory slots left. So be it. All right. Got a lot of money, though. Got a lot of money. So uh, we have to find... Vilzar, the town. So let me real quick go to different, nope, go to a couple different folks here. Looking for Vilzar. I don't know where Vilzar is. Looking for Vilzar. Northeast. Done. Let's go to the northeast. So we're going to leave. We're going to uh, um, head out to the northeast. Unfortunately, there's a mountain in the way. Uh, whispers of terror spread out amongst the lands like a horrific plague. People are disappearing. Whole towns devoid of people like the earth swallow them up. The conclave has begun decreeing emergency powers. Large teams of mages are sweeping the lands for new unknown magic. Uh, okay, I've, I've not, not seen that event before. I think maybe there's Vilzar. Okay, so that's cool. Let me get to it. Oh, I seem to be soft locked in some fashion here. Why is that? Let me do my. Let me do it. Nope, can't actually do a thing. I can wait. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna stealth these wolves, which we do. I'm just gonna leave and then see if. No, I am sort of stuck here. Is it nighttime? Did I run out of some resource? No, I think I am somehow incapable of moving. Oh, that stinks. I like my well-being number. It's 128.6826. I am... I am, I am that happy. <laughs> I am decimally happy. Darn it. Investigate disappearances. No limit. Uh, I do like the fact that all these people have crap like uh, to them. But it does seem like I am. So I'm going to save and quit. I'm going to start again to see if I can then move. So let me continue a game. 
And if not, we'll call this one here. I mean, no, we are stuck. There's some... Something in game is like you you're done, sir. You are you are non-mobile. And I don't know what that possibly is. Um, can I cast a spell? I mean I can literally do all this crap. I can Can I can I click into So I can click into But I can't sleep. So it looks like my overland is somehow disabled. Presumably I got there's a bug somewhere which is which is uh, has sort of soft locked us a little bit. Okay. Well that's it for this run. Um and again, you know, let's let's keep in mind uh we got a demo here. Um so I expect some bugs. So I'm not super bummed about it. Very cool, though. I do like the vibe that I get out of the game. And like I said, there's so much crap here. And now, unfortunately, I have this message on because I, I did a, a thing. Um, there's so much looking here. This I, I always hate to say potential because I hate that it's such a weird gamer. Oh, this game has so much potential. Usually they say that in, in respect to bitching about the game. This game had so much potential. And you ruined it. I'm putting that in in, uh, in parentheses. Um, but it does sort of have that... I can manage stuff. I can buy land. I can have followers. I can... Right? It just seems to have... Uh, a lot potentially going for it. I'm super interesting. Comes out in April to early access. Um... Obviously, I'm bummed that I um, cannot continue on this. But I think we're good for now. So that's about it. I will talk to you all later. Thanks a lot for watching and have a good one. Bye-bye.